This may sound a little bit insane, but if you realize this, this very important factor, you can begin to manipulate your life. You can begin to attract, you know, right? We've all heard of the law of attraction and I'm sort of skeptical with that law, but I believe that whenever you start focusing on something, you begin to see that more. For instance, when you go and buy a new car, or for instance, for me, I started working at Acura dealership years ago. And when I worked at Acura, I would see countless Acuras more than ever before. And that's because my mind was attuned to Acuras. Now all the other cars would go by. I wasn't seeing Fords. I wasn't seeing Chevy. I was seeing Acura. And every time one would pop up, boom, there it is. Acura out of the blue. I started working at Mini and I started doing sales. And you know what? I started seeing Minis. Now Mini's a very niche brand. But you know what? I started seeing minis everywhere. I was like, holy shit, these cars are so popular. And so you begin to see what your mind is focusing on more and more. That's why we tell you guys, if you're focused on negative thoughts, how do you think your life is going to be throughout the day? Are you going to be happy? But if you change that to one of gratitude, even when it's hard to be grateful, the more gratitude you, you express, the more you're going to, you know, you're going to have these little moments, these epiphanies, life is really good. You know, sometimes I'm just chilling in my living room. I'm like, man, this is a hell of a life. This is a hell of a life. And sometimes I'm hanging out with my friends. This is a hell of a life. I'm so blessed to be living this life. And so with that being said, if we know that we can attract certain things or we can become aware of certain things, well, what about the perfect woman that you want in your life? I don't think many of us focus on this too much. We kind of just are attracted to different girls. Right, you've probably heard, you know, what's your um, taste in women? Oh, like every woman, right? And yeah, you know, there's a shit ton of beautiful women out there. And I don't like to discriminate. But I think that we all sort of have an ideal that we would like. If that's physical beauty or if that's qualities of her character. Maybe a girl that's very feminine. Because there are girls out there that are very masculine, very career orientated, dominant, um, and maybe, you know, that clashes with how you are as a man. Maybe you're very dominant, and so you don't need that dominant woman unless you want her to be like that. But usually in a relationship, you have this polarity, the masculine, the feminine. For those of you who have read David Dita, you get this, and you, it's like a magnetic thing. With my previous girlfriend, very feminine, very feminine. I'm the most feminine girl I had ever been with, and so, you know, there was a lot of fun there. But the more feminine the girl is, Usually the more shit you have to deal with, <laughs> the, the shit testing, you know, being at your center and at your core. But I tell you what, usually the more feminine, very hot, very, very crazy in bed. If you guys have ever been with a really feminine, high energy girl, she just wants to laugh. She wants to have fun. She wants to have sex all the time. It's a beautiful thing. But you have to begin to know what you want. So if you write this down, Brian Tracy said that you can't hit a target that you can't see, okay? Unless you're a master bowsman, marksman, right? You're not gonna be able to hit the target if you don't know where the target is. And so just by writing it down, you can do this with your goals, but I've also found this very powerful and I've learned from you know some great guys that have said, if you write down the exact thing that you want, you will be more likely to get that. So you can do this with your perfect woman, brown eyes, long brown hair, this skin, she works out. What do you want? Does she cook? Be very um, precise with this. She is very feminine. She is very kind. She's loyal. She's, she has a good mother and father, like all these things. And I'm telling you in about two months, you will start to see, you probably will end up with the girl that you write down. It'll be crazy. It'll be so crazy because as you go out more, as you go to the gym, as you go out with your buddies, maybe at your school, you'll start to see this woman that you have firmly planted. You've got your thoughts out on this paper and now you start to see that woman throughout your life and you'll be attracted to those women. And so now it actually helps because now you don't waste as much time. You know what you want and you're open to experience that. It's a really, really cool thing. I actually just wrote mine down. So I would highly suggest that you guys take this out and just write it down and do the same thing with your goals too write down what you want. You don't want to just keep going aimlessly throughout your life. Now, again, this is important because eventually we stumble through life and we come across good enough and you don't want good enough. You want great. You want the best. 
You want the best, man. You want the best life that you can possibly get. Okay, so don't just stumble through. I catch myself doing this a lot. I don't, I don't, I stop dreaming. You want to keep dreaming. You don't want to let those dreams die, man. And you want to go after them. You don't want to, you want to be relentless. You want to be like obsessed. You don't want people, well, people will tell you you're crazy. That's stupid. Why are you writing now? You're perfect girl. They make fun of you. Fuck those guys, man. Fuck anyone else who like is trying to tell you how to live your life. That's not on your terms. That's not really, you know, for your best. People get, people get weird. People are scared to take risks. And that's exactly why they do that. People are not likely to take risks once they're comfortable. That's why you see your buddies and your friends and fail in marriages that suck, right? They're with the same girl for years. They've never had abundance. That's why they're in the same career. They've always been scared to quit. They've always been scared to start, you know, something new and experiment. You don't want that to be you. All right. So if you can't hit a target, you can't see. Well, figure out what that target is and write it down. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Peace.